Good morning. It's Sunday morning. We welcome you to our you know, home prayer corner to join us for the celebration of the abundance of this morning. It's been quite some time since I pulled this little booklet out. And so I wanted to share a word about this reader service, um, some reflections as I was thinking about them early this morning. First of all, this service, this particular service, uh, was blessed by then Bishop Gregory of Blessed Memory for the Diocese of Alaska, because the Alaskan churches often did not have regular priests, and so they celebrated the Obednitsa, the reader service, at times when there was no priest present, and then when the priest was there, they celebrated liturgy. So this is in use still today uh, up in Alaska. Uh, a recollection that brings some sadness to me, however, is that growing up in church school in our cathedral of Minneapolis, we also celebrated this as children. We gathered in the chapel three out of four Sundays in the month to celebrate the Obednice service. In other words, only once a month did we as children uh, celebrate the divine liturgy. And so as we today have the opportunity to celebrate liturgy <clears throat> regularly and are maybe being brought to be more mindful of that today, uh, it is a reality in other places where they are unable to celebrate the liturgy as regularly as we do. Finally, a missionary reflection. I was probably uh, late uh, junior high, early high school, and a group of us were uh, blessed by then Bishop Boris of Blessed Memory to make a journey one summer. We rented a van and we drove up to the northern parishes, Hibbing, Minnesota, Cornucopia, Wisconsin, and we celebrated the Obednitsa service for the faithful who gathered at each of these parishes. And it was an incredible experience. Uh, Bishop Boris did join us on a couple of occasions. Father Vladimir Leko, our parish priest, also joined us. Uh, but we, among the services, uh, celebrated at the Prairie Farm Monastery. Father Jerome, who would later be teaching uh, at St. Econ Seminary, was a, a monk there together with Father Alexander Cutler, who was at St. John's in Hiram for many, many years. And so it was a wonderful missionary reflection of bringing some sense of the liturgical services to these outlying parishes. So this morning, we have adapted the uh, Abednissa service because we actually do have a priest and singers and readers uh, so that we'll be trying to celebrate the Abednissa to the best of our ability, and we invite you to join us in prayer. <clears throat> Happy incense of Christ of God, the most sweet spiritual freedom, receive it upon the hand of all things, and God upon us, and return the grace of all these things. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, law companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocrit in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy. For in this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep <clears throat> us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our light unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Bless the Lord. Soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, the Lord. His compassionate and merciful, long suffering and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the majesty and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to his earth. On that very day his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change this man was crucified. O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who are one of the holy trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, you Lord. Lord. For you are a good 
true God and love mankind unto you. We ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall evil you and persecute you. And shall say, O manner of evil, I get you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Wisdom, let us attend. Oh, come, let worship and fall down before Christ who rose from the dead O leave us who sing unto thee Alleluia Alleluia Amen. Thomas, oh. 
upon before thy cross we bow down in worship O Master and thy holy resurrection we glorify Christ Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And thy holy resurrection, we glorify before thy cross. We Attend peace be unto all and to your spirit wisdom. The Procumenon is in the sixth tone. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Mm. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Your God, be not silent to me. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, your inheritance. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, your inheritance. from the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold our fast, our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray, since he himself is also subject to weakness. Because of this he is required as far for the people, so also for himself to offer sacrifices for sins, and no man takes his honor to himself, but he who is called by God just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest, but it was he who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he also says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be unto you, reader. And to your spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us 
attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to Peace you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time the Lord said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Come with power. <clears throat> Glory to Peace you, O God. Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Brothers and sisters of Holy Transfiguration Parish and those who are joining us this morning, we have experienced some unprecedented days this week in that with the onset of the coronavirus, we have been uh, given directions by our civil authorities and by our church authorities that uh, taken together mean that many of us are at home at the present time and practicing social distancing and all of the things that we are asked to do during this time. But it has also been, as especially in conversations with people throughout the course of the week, a very strange time for many of us, not recalling a time when we were not able to go to church, to serve the services, to pray the prayers that are there for us, especially during this great Lenten period. And so it's disconcerting for many of us during this time. And yet, we are called to look to our life of faith, to look to our Lord Jesus Christ, to guide us during this time. And those who were witnesses of his life and ministry and saving work among us. And so this morning, I thought I would take, in light of our current situation, would lift up some passages from service texts that we have taken in our scriptural text that may particularly speak to us today as we are in this time of being disconcerted and separated from one another in our communities of faith. So first of all, we read this morning in St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So again, St. Paul is speaking to us of God's grace that particularly during this time as we are separated from one another, from our communities to be able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, we call upon God's grace to be with us and not only to be with us, but that we might be empowered through our life of faith to reach out and to help those who are in need that we find around us, those who may need help in some small way, those who may call out to us for help, but to be willing to reach out in the midst of our life of faith and through God's grace to help others in the time of need, in this particular time of need. We also sang last night during the Lord I Call Stikiri for the cross. Wishing to restore all mankind to life, you accepted crucifixion, O Christ our God. Burning with boundless love for man, you took the quill of the cross in your hand. Dipping it in the ink of royal crimson, you signed our release with blood-stained fingers. Though temptations assault us, may we never forsake you again. Have mercy on your despairing people, O long-suffering Master. Arise and fight your enemies. 
in your almighty power. We read during the daily services this week of Noah and the ark. Noah shutting up his family and two of everything walking and living on the earth into the ark before God flooded the earth. And he said at the end of that period when the waters receded, he repented of that to say that I would never, he would never destroy mankind in that fashion again. We, however, brothers and sisters, have, if we look at our human history, repeatedly forsaken God. We can read that all throughout the Old Testament. That's the history. God establishing his covenant with us and the people growing weary and, and finding other things of interest. Then God's wrath coming down, again establishing a covenant, again are becoming weary. This has been kind of the story of the Old Testament in terms of our participation. So that text, though temptations assault us, may we never forsake you again, is most meaningful in this context. May we, in this time of trouble, in this time of struggle and challenge, not forsake God, but rather cling to God, pray to God, seek God's grace during this time. Finally, we read in today's Gospel reading again on this Sunday of the veneration of the cross, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. This is Jesus' invitation to us. May we hear it with new ears and a new heart and a new mind today. May we recommit ourselves to come after our Lord, denying ourselves, taking up our cross, including this time of struggle and prayer for one another and to follow our Lord. May this be our aim during these days of difficulty that we may seek after our Lord and to be reminded of his saving action on our behalf, his opening the kingdom to heaven through us, through the cross, that when we come to the celebration of Pascha, we don't celebrate the joy without the knowledge of the crucifixion of our Lord as portrayed with his arms outstretched on the cross. So may we recommit ourselves to this calling. <clears throat> St. Paul, in his second letter to the Corinthians, talks about his life of struggle and the meaning that he found in it. He writes, I was stoned, I was shipwrecked, I have been in the deep, in journeys, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils in the city, perils in the wilderness, perils in the sea, perils among false brethren, in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness, beside the other things what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is made to stumble, and I do not burn with indignation? If I must boast, I will boast in the things which can concern my infirmity. And he writes later in the chapter 12 about the thorn in his flesh. And he prays before God to have this removed. And he receives these words from God that are much in line with our other passages for today. My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. So may we not despair, brothers and sisters, during this time of struggle, but let us be reminded of our life of faith and strengthened by our faith in Christ, and to also be reminded of St. Herman, who as a simple monk, likewise came among the Aleut people, ministered to them, and even when there was a fever outbreaking, did not depart from them, but ministered to them and prayed with them. It is in this spirit that we come together with all of you today. May God bless and keep you during these days, and may we continue to pray for one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. O Lord have mercy. 
mercy. Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to your great <clears throat> goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan tea convo, contendants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. The Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy house, and the communities of those gathered together this day. For all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, especially the Archpriest Joseph, Constantinos, Mary, and Edward, Andrew here, and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. The Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, for all those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those who are sick and suffering, especially for the Archpriest Paul, Makashka, Natasha, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Caitlin, Noah, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Carol, Ann, and Louise, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works at this holy and all-venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful God and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down on us, your people, gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the threat, the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all our caregivers and chaplains, and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir sings to you in Christ. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels, archangels, and all the powers of heaven, sing your praises and do cry, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God, our true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, remit, pardon, and forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether by words or deeds, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or night, whether in mind or thought, Forgive us all these, for you are good and love mankind. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, mighty, one in essence, kingdom undivided, origin of all good things, be graciously inclined also to us sinners, establish us, give understanding to our hearts, and purge away all our vileness. Enlighten our minds that we may glorify, sing praises, and adore you, and sing. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him, and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh sons, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and covets many days, that he may enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He kept all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be <coughs> condemned. <laughs> All of creation rejoices in you, O full of grace, the assembly of angels and the race of men. O sanctified temple and spiritual paradise, the glory of virgins, from whom God was incarnate and became a child. Our God is love, the ages. He made your body into a throne, and your womb he made more spacious than the heavens. All of creation rejoices in you, O full of grace, glory. Christ our governor, sure hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-creating cross of our holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, St. Basil of Ansire, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Before we proceed to before they cross and to venerate the cross, we want to take a moment. Um, it is our practice in our parish to celebrate with those who are celebrating uh, special days. And so Maria Papadimitris is celebrating her name's day during the Feast of uh, Annunciation that will occur during the course of this week. So we'd like to take God grant many years to the servant of God Maria on her name's day and remind all of our faithful that you are welcome to send to me uh, those celebrations that will be coming up in the coming days and we will take them in the course of our coming together in prayer. <clears throat> Grant, O Lord, a peaceful and prosperous life, health, salvation, furtherance, and all good things, and all thy blessings unto the servant of God Maria on her upcoming name's day, and protect and preserve her for many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. 
the Lord's Day with you and your families and we look forward to gathering together again for those who are able to uh, to celebrate Vespers tomorrow Monday evening at 5 30. God bless and be with each and every one of you. You remain in our prayers and may you continue to reach out to one another, support one another and share the grace of God that is given so richly to us to one another in these coming days. God bless and be with you.